She had rope my rope spear, motherfuckers. This is Culture Sean coming at you again. And I got the damn, got my bag here, got my umbrella, she had rope. And uh, let's do it like that. Uh, gonna be heading down to uh, leaving actually leaving Centenia today going down to uh, Rijinka which in Serbian means uh, river Rijinka Krosinova something like that and I'm going through I had to walk down the highway just a little bit today and uh, now I'm uh, off on this trail this path that's uh, taking me down to hopefully Renjinka, which is a little village and uh, I think no, the village is actually my fault. The village is Dul Duyeva, Duyeva village, which I heard actually has an increase of COVID cases now. So I was warned not to go to the village, but the accommodation in which I'm staying at, um, the lady told me there informed me that it's not near it's on it's like separate from the village uh, her cottage so we'll be away from the covid people you know the the uh the walking dead <laughs> you know it's it's like that you know what i'm saying like people got covid and you just got to stay away from all the infected you know but uh check this out these views this mountain range in the middle of nowhere. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, she out rope. But let's see where this trail goes. So yeah, I'm still uh, continuing down uh, this path here, this trail. I don't know if you can see up there, see some cars, the highway. Uh, obviously I, I was walking down that earlier, but I got off that path and now I'm heading down again this trail, uh, to Rinjinka, Cronova. Like I mentioned earlier, she out rope. Motherfuckers, man. Hopefully I'm going to find my way there before dark, you know, before sunset. Uh, and the thing is, you know, I was just thinking about it like, you know, being around everybody you know like meeting people is cool and everything uh like when you're traveling and whatnot but at the end of the day you know i gotta be honest i just i enjoy my own company you know what i'm saying like for me you know like i i never disappoint myself you know what i'm saying like never nah but when you're around certain people they might be cool but then it's like even women too, you know what I'm saying, females. And you're like, after a while, they, they disappoint, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this happened all the time, but, and now the rain's starting to come down like a motherfucker, but, but you know, you, you know, you get disappointed sometimes and you're like, okay, this motherfucker, you know, he was playing games. He wasn't for real. They, I mean, they, they wasn't good peoples, you know what I'm saying? And whatnot, but, and that shit happens. That's part of life. Like, motherfuckers gonna be like that. But, uh, at the same time, when you're with yourself, you know, just doing your own thing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You can just relax. And you kind of have peace with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're happy. You have fun. You can relax. No, no problems. No stress. You can enjoy life. Just have fun. Be you. You know what I mean? And for me, I'm just saying, I just, my, where I was going with that is, I just have fun, you know what I'm saying? Rolling solo every now and then. But at the same time, you do need to interact with people. I get it, you know. And what the fuck is this? Shiat rope. Mud rope spear. Some more of these views. Up in no man's land. Heading down this path still. Gonna see where it takes me. Let's keep it rolling. Oh shit, almost fell, man, like a, woo. Should be creeping on you down here.
Roshi, I wrote Mro Spear, motherfuckers. You already know who this be. Uh, I finally found out where the Strana viewpoint was. That's what I was looking for when I was staying in bar. And I um, went to Visibar, actually, a uh, village that's nearby, you know. And that's one place where you can view the, uh, the lake, uh, Skardar Lake. Um, but I was actually looking for this viewpoint here. Uh, you can see there's a, somebody's got their boat out today and they uh, going on a little cruise. And got this little puppy here that uh, I happened to run into uh, when I've been up here. Uh, while I was up here, you know, for like the past hour, I was just eating my uh, lunch up here and, um, you know, sipping on a little vino, a little wine, which I did last night. And look at this. This uh, looks like a villa as well here. Uh, I thought it was abandoned at first, but there's a car out here. So it must be the owner that's, uh, you know, maybe getting things prepped, you know, because I see the ladder up there, uh, you know, some clothes out there and there's a satellite dish, but there was actually, but anyways, there's like, uh, you know, it looks like there's somebody there and it's probably the owner getting things ready for the spring or summer season because it says up there, summer rooms. And it's, can't see it from here, but it's a sign that says Gazavoda. Uh, and it says hotel, so it's on the side of the building right there. It says ho, also H O. Probably half of it was torn off, it was probably said hotel, but, anyways, uh, I just uh walked up here uh earlier today. Um, I was you know. Just chilling, relaxing, figure out what I was going to do. And I was going to go down to actually um, Krusak, which is another uh, place close by here. Actually, it's not that close, but I mean, if you got a, if you're mobile, it's close, but it's like two hours walking and it's, they got a park and it's like a neighboring village. And I was going to go there today, but I didn't have enough time. So I decided to come up to the viewpoint here. Because I've always drove uh, drove by it. I mean, I didn't drive. You know, my uh, um, host. You know, me and her have uh, drove by here many times, but I never actually got out of the car. Got to, you know, come to the viewpoint. Um, but it's great now that I'm out here. And uh, but anyways, let me uh, share this story. So last night I was, um, you know. I got to make sure I'm still recording. Yeah. So we're at like four minutes now. But I was at the. Uh, um, went to uh, Pogoritsa, the capital, uh, yesterday. And, you know, I needed to stock up anyway. I needed to buy some things I needed. And um, so we went out there, me and the the host, you know, uh, Goritsa. Um, and. We end up leaving probably at six or seven. We got there at one or two, and we spent like four or five hours there because we actually end up going to her friend's house, which he lives in town, and he's got like a little apartment, you know, uh, right in the center. And so we went down there and we hung out, and I uh, was sipping on some vino, some wine, and uh, it was it was cool at first. It was interesting. You know, being in a like a Montenegrin, uh, you know, uh, house, you know, like not, it wasn't traditional or anything like that, but just being just hanging with the locals and just being able to see how understand how they are. Uh, yeah, understand how they operate, um, understand how they uh, do things, you know, just their culture, uh, just listening to them interact you know it's very intriguing for me super interesting uh that's what i'm all about cultures and uh understanding you know uh people 
um, better, you know, uh, like their walk of life or their way of life, you know, like what, what do they, um, you know, like what are like their characteristics, you know, their makeup, their DNA, what, you know, what's that all about? You know what I mean? So like, uh, it was, it was entertaining, even though I didn't understand a thing they were saying, didn't understand a goddamn word they were saying. She had a rope, no spear. But uh, it was an intriguing or interesting experience nonetheless. So I got to go up there and I got to check it out, sip on some, you know, wine. It's just, it's amazing how friendly they are, how hospitable they are. And it's like, you want to say something, but you just kind of go with the flow type of thing, you know. Um, that's how that was, you know. In Albania, the people are like that too, you know. Uh, they treat you as family, you know. It's like your kin, you know. Once you get in with them, uh, but they do that with any anybody, you know. That um, you know that that's a foreigner, that's not Albanian, for example, or not Montenegrin, wherever you're at. They treat you well, but. In these two particular countries I've been in recently, Mon Albania first, followed by Montenegro now, um, the people are just uh, super friendly. And and to me, ultimately, it's that's what it's about, making that connection um, with the locals. You know what I'm saying? Like people that be vlogging, people that be like YouTubers, uh, people that be um, backpackers, you know, fellow travelers, these, these, these motherfuckers just be there for like a couple days or like a week. Maybe some will stay a month or two, whatever, but they don't really get to understand the people because they're not there long enough because they're always on the move. They're going from city to city, town to town, or even country to country if they're in a specific region. So that's what's lacking is you need to live there. You need to, and, and that's just how you know, I operate, you know, I feel to under, truly understand the people, um, to really culture cross, you need to live in that country, breathe it. You need to, you know, be with the locals, you know, see how the everyday life is, um, you know, understand business there, you know, um, what they're all about, you know, like I said, their makeup, their DNA, and once you got that, then to me, that's what, that's one of the, one of the most important aspects, um, or you could say one of, um, you, you can say it's a, it's a definitely a, um, it's a, it's a, it's for me, it's like, just, how do I say this? It's like, uh, it's it's life, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, in a word, it's life, you know, it's, uh, it's the human connection, it's the human spirit, it's the relationships you make, you know, the, the philosophy, the understanding behind that, just getting a inside, uh, you know, insiders almost, so to speak, uh, view on how these people live day to day it's it's just unbelievable but anyways you know i'm gonna go walk in i'm gonna uh if you can see over there up on the hill i'm gonna take that route up there and just see what i see and then i'm gonna head back uh to the guest house today and i'm gonna wrap things up um and just chill, maybe sip on some more wine, relax. Uh, it's the weekend, it's Friday here, so, you know, I'm going to try to go out tomorrow early, get some more things done. And, because uh, I only got about three more weeks here, so, I mean, in this particular village. Uh, and afterwards, you know, I'm going to stay in the country a little bit longer, but I'm going to see where else I'm going to go. What other, I might go to the coastal um, towns, because I haven't been there yet, Um you know, we'll see, because, right, you know, by then it'll be March, you know, I'm going to stay here to March, and it'll be sunny, the weather will be better, so I can head up there, or head down there, rather, and, you know, see what I see, and uh, maybe go out to the beach or something, go swimming, go surfing, who knows, but uh, check out these views one more again.
See our Rome Rome spear, motherfuckers. Look at them views, man. Oh my God. It's just a month, you know what I'm saying? You get to be, wake up to this air.